Whoa! I'm just coming on here in the break of my uh, series of Star Wars commentary that I've been giving. Um, you know, I thought it'd be a good time to take a break from that and just before the, I do the prequels tomorrow, or release those. I've already done them all, but uh, I thought, you know, it would be a great time just to say Happy 40th Anniversary to Star Wars, Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, rest in peace, as well as Kenny Baker, rest in peace, and Peter Mayhew, Alec Guinness, rest in peace as well, as well as uh, Peter Cushing. Again, congratulations to George Lucas. Um, created a franchise that is huge. Made six films himself with others. The new movies he's not a part of. He gets credit for creating them. And, uh, yeah, I just thought this would be a fun little video to make in between the trilogies of the Star Wars commentaries. You know, the original trilogy has already been published. And then tomorrow will be the prequel trilogy. And I, uh, I do hope, hope you enjoy them. Uh, I enjoyed watching them and talking over them. Obviously, I know that when doing so, you know, there's so much stuff that I can already say that people might not know. Because if you're a huge Star Wars fan like me, you probably already know the ins and outs of behind the scenes of them. So, of course, I go and talk about, oh, well, you know, uh, you know this scene, this, and then now I kind of, I guess I could kind of talk about what I like about this scene or just. I don't know, at some point when you're doing commentary over a film, you, you try to stretch as much information out as you have planned throughout the film. However, I've, been, uh, I've also encountered, um, I try to do that, but you don't want to just have like a bunch of nothing. I mean, yeah, the idea is you watch the movie as I talk, but if you're going to be listening to a commentary track that's on YouTube and watch a film on your TV, you kind of want there to be dialogue from the commentary track. And, um, you know, I, I uh, there are times where I'm like, well, what do I say now? It's like, I have a lot I want to say, but do I want to mention this information now or later? Because if I wait later, something else I could that could come up on the screen, I might be like, oh, well, I start talking about something else, and then I forget about the other thing, or I do remember it, but it's like, yeah, well, uh, it would have been more appropriate, like maybe like three minutes ago. Now it's like an afterthought, and um, you know I'm trying to find the balance. And I've, I've obviously done, you know, I just the last one, the Return of the Jedi, was the 14th commentary. Um, I'm still trying to get to the hang of doing that. Uh, I will be busy this summer, so I think that's another reason also why. I mean, it's all May. May is Star Wars month. I've always associated Star Wars with May. Um, also, my birthday is May 16th. So around my birthday is when Star Wars came out. Um, George Lucas's birthday is May 14th. Um, he always made sure they would be released in May, but after his birthday. I guess he didn't want uh, his birthday to have a Star Wars movie come out on them. I uh, don't know why, but he just didn't. Um, though May 16th was when Episode 2 came out. Also, every episode in the prequel trilogy actually came out on my birthday. I remember when I was five and saw Phantom Menace. There's like a special screening 
um, not just Des Moines, but I'm pretty sure across America, because it's like the premiere, so because it's been so long, it's the beginning of a new trilogy. They released it three days early, and my brother got tickets, and we went and saw it, and it was amazing. And then three days later, my mom took me again, and then, and it's like kindergarten or something, and then when I, uh, <clears throat> when I got, uh, in, I was in second grade, was when episode two came out on my birthday, and then in three days after my birthday in 2005, when I was 11 years old, my mom again got me out of school early and saw Star Wars. And that was the New York premiere and the Cannes Film Festival premiere and all these premieres in specific places. On May 16th was like the day uh, it opened. And, uh, in certain areas and so in a way I'm like that's another reason Star Wars month is May and also May the 4th be with you and even here it says Star Wars Day on the calendar which I think is cool though some say you know May 25th is Star Wars Day because well that is the actual anniversary of the day the original Star Wars came out and I can understand why that would be so uh yeah i just want to say you know 40 years of star wars you know it's still trucking whether you like it or not um star wars has always been huge it will probably i i'm going to assume it will remain huge um and, uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say about the matter, and, uh, yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the commentaries I've been giving, and we'll continue to release, so, see you, uh, see you next time, bye.